says construction traffic right. Am I construction traffic? Yes. Am I going to go right? Nope. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Luke, thank you for watching. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day so far. Today, we are on our way to Shivenham, which is not far away from uh, where we're based in Swindon. Uh, this is actually my second run there. I've already been there <coughs> uh, this morning. Um, I didn't film, then I decided, you know what? I want to do a vlog today, and then hopefully I can get it uploaded for the weekend. So uh, yeah, we're on our second run here to Shrivenham. So I know where I'm going, I know where they are on site, and uh, hopefully we won't be there too long because I've got to do some other jobs today as well. That's the plan anyway. Right, I just need to concentrate getting off this roundabout. This is Gable Cross roundabout. It's a fucking nightmare to get out of when you're fully loaded. Absolute nightmare. So, you might have to bear with me while I uh, try and get out of here. I mean, you can't see what's coming from the right. You've got to try and time it. And other times you can't time it at all. Yeah, we might be here a while. There's loads of traffic waiting to come down. Oh, I've got an opportunity. So I'm actually accelerating while there's cars coming to try and get a bit of speed onto the junction. Which is why I left a bit of a gap uh, between me and the end of the junction. So that's the best way to get out of there. That was nothing. Sometimes I've been there literally four or five minutes trying to get out. It's not the best roundabout. They should have traffic lights really. Never mind. Anyway, so we're, uh, as the road just said, we're on our way to the A420. Although technically we are now on the A420. Go past Gable Cross Police Station on the left. Uh, travel a couple of miles on the A420. Then we we'll turn on right at the speed camera. And it's just around the corner where we're going. We'll be there soon. So yes. Hopefully you've all had a good day. Thank you very much for everyone who's watched my uh, my latest video. Which is that um, the Ebola drone track that I uh, tarmacked for the Grand Tour. I absolutely loved that. That was a great day out. Is this car on the right going to come down? No, he's not. Yeah, it was a really good uh, day. I'm really pleased that I uh, time out that. Uh, every time that's on now, I'll be in the living room on my sofa, girlfriend next to me, kids next to me, like, I time out that. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a squeaky seat, which is a bit annoying. But sometimes if I just put it up and down a little bit, it sort of wears a squeak out. Right, so, um, we're only a couple of miles away, so we'll be there in a second. Wow, wow, chicken, wow, wow, chicken, wow, wow, here we are. So we're just around the corner now. Just around the corner. Uh, if you have been a long time viewer of me, you will know that, um, round here, I nearly got caught speeding. I wasn't speeding, I was on the verge. I thought, I thought I was close to, to be speeding. Basically, it's 30 mile an hour limit, as you can see. As I went past the sign, I was probably doing about 32, and there's a police officer right there. Uh, and then this is a hill, so I was slowing down anyway going up the hill. But, um, yeah, so I was pretty much when I first started, I was worried that I was gonna get a speeding ticket not long into the job. As far as I'm aware, though, you're allowed to go 10 mile, 10% uh, faster than the speed limit. I don't know if that's true or not. So if the speed limit's 30, then you can do 33 without being prosecuted. As far as I'm aware. Anyway, we're turning left here, hence we're going onto the other side of the road. And uh, we're just gonna go down here. So yeah, if you're on the motorway and the speed limit is 70 for cars, technically, I, I believe, technically you can do 67 and get away with it. But don't quote me on that. I am not a, uh, a law enforcement officer. I do not know. Uh, right. So we need to go left. It says construction traffic right. Am I construction traffic? Yes. Am I going to go right? Nope. <laughs> going to go left. Because I want to. 
and because that's where I need to be. Right, these boys said they wouldn't be here in an hour and they are. Taking my seatbelt off because I needed to reverse in a sec. Just get around this corner. Of which it is very tight. Just mounted the curb. Wow, I've got 20 ton, I don't think they need it. So I'm just going to park over here. I've got to get out anyway and um, put the flaps up. So I'm just going to park here. If anyone from my uh, company who I work for is watching me from head office, please be aware I am putting on my hard hat. I am putting on my gloves and as for specs I've got my glasses on so uh, as far as I'm concerned that's fine. So yeah I'm going to go put my flaps up, make an acquaintance with the guys, tell them I'm here and um, we get going ASAP. Right so my flaps are up and it looks like we're just reversing in now. Take me all that off. Unfortunately, I can't show you what's going on behind me. Uh, I'll tell you why in a sec. Let me just get round here. I'll do for a sec. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't show you what's going on behind me because I noticed the other day that my mount is broken. I had a mount on the back and uh, I had an outer case for the GoPro and a couple of mounts that hold, held it on and it's, it's snapped off uh, and I don't have the the, the, uh, the case for it and the, the things that was holding it up, it's all gone. I can only assume that on one of the jobs I've done recently, I put it up and it's hit like a tree or something or a branch because there's been a lot of that work going on recently and it's just snapped it off um, and I didn't notice until I got back to the yard so wherever it snapped off it's gone now. So I need to get myself a couple of new mounts to go on the back. I do have a spare uh, backup um, outside mount, like the clear thing, the clear transparent case that the GoPro goes in. But um, I need a couple more brackets. I've, I've, the um, the bike handle mount is still on the on the, the the frame, whatever you want to call it. But it's just the extenders I had; they've all snapped off as well. I had about three, four extenders going upwards, so then you, you were above the uh, the sheet. So long story short, can't show you the back because my equipment has been broken and I need to buy some more. Oh, we're still waiting. Come on. Oh, here we go. This, uh, this lot here, they've ordered quite a lot of tonnage for what they need. So I'm going to be taking some back. I think I'm on. Wait for him to say. Just giving me the thumbs up, which means it's uh, under open. Do, do, do. So yeah, after we've done this, we've got to go back to uh, Quicklade and tip off what's remaining. Then give it a clean, then go over to Wise Manor Quarry, then go to Reading. And then on the way back from Reading, I've got to pull into Memory Services, get some wrap, which is recycled tarmac, and take that back to Wise Manor. So I've got four jobs in order to do today. This is my second one. Two more to go after this. Uh, I don't have to work this weekend either, because I worked last weekend, so that's good. Looking forward to having the weekend off.
ba ba chicken wow wow so hopefully I won't be here too much longer do this and then we can fuck off Right, so we've uh, finished now in Shrivenham. We've just got to take what we've got left back to uh, to the place where they want it to be tipped. And um, then we will go to Wisey Manor and get loaded and make our way to Reading. So we um, need to get a move on because time's starting to crack on and I need to have a break soon because I've not had one yet. So yeah, let's go tip off the remaining amount of tarmac we've got left. We've got about 10 ton left. And uh, then we'll go on to our next job. Right, so we've just been loaded out of Wisey Manor. Uh, unfortunately, I can't film inside the plant because it's the company I work for so can't film inside their plants we are delivering it to another one of their plants so I can't film in there either but on the way back from Reading we need to go to memory services uh, we need to take a secret uh, path outside of memory services and then we're on country lanes and then we need to uh, go get loaded with recycled wrap there's a lorry come in and then um, back here to Wisey Manor again. And I still need to get a break as well. So, the plan is, thank you matey boy for letting me in. Just gonna get on to the uh, motorway, like A419 or so. Say thank you to this guy for letting me through. And as a gesture of goodwill, I will also flash him back in. Thank you very much mate, you're more than welcome. Anyway, so yeah, the plan is, time right now is half past 12. It takes about an hour to get to Reading, so we'll be in Reading for about half past one. I then need to take a half an hour drive back to Membry, so that's two o'clock. Get loaded, say it's quarter past two, I'm loaded by. Um, then I'll have a 45 minute break, because I haven't had a break yet. Uh, and I do need to have a break by uh, quarter past two as well, because I started at quarter past eight. So that is touching it fine, six hours working time. Anyway, quarter past two, have a break, 45 minutes, then it's three o'clock. And then it's a half an hour drive back to Wisey Manor, because remember he's in the middle. That's then half past three. By the time I finish tipping uh, and cleaned up, we've caught a four. And then I call my boss, make sure there's nothing else I need to do. Transfer, I'll be back in the yard for four o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, that's the plan. So yeah, it's half past 12 now. I've got quite a bit to do, but I can estimate that I'll be back at four o'clock, which is quite cool. It's, uh, the only thing I need to worry about right now is my working hours. I've got loads of driving time left, I've got two and a half hours of driving time before I need to have a break, which is fine. I, need, I only need an hour and a half, maybe an hour 45. But I've got to have a break by quarter past two. Um, and I've got a good hour and a half of driving to do, and it's half past 12. So we're, we're going to be touching it, it's going to be close. Oh, thank you very much. Forgot to turn my beacons off, I always do it. Don't know why. Um, so yeah, we were all uh, good to run in, get tipped, and then you'll see me again heading towards Membry. Right, so we, we've tipped at Reading, uh, and now we're on our way to Membry Services. It's just down here. Uh, then we need to get loaded with wrap to take back to Izzy. We do have a bit of a, of a problem though. Uh, time is not on my side. I was supposed to stop by quarter past two to have uh, to have my break, um, and it's quarter past two now, so I, <laughs> I need to stop. Um, so I'm going to have to. Well, the services are coming up. I'm going to stop just outside where I'm getting loaded. Unfortunately, there's a bit of congestion on the M4, so uh, yeah, time is not on my side. Unfortunately, no mind. Not a lot I can do about it. When we when we stop, I print off a ticket. Uh, and right on the back, stuck in congestion. It's not a problem. But yeah, so we gotta go to this secret place. It's not even, it's not really a secret place. It's just I gotta go through the services to get there. I gotta go um, into the car bit, where the cars go. So I gotta be a bit careful. Go careful, I uh, don't hear anything. I've only been here once before, but I come out, I never went in. So this is my first time going into the place this way. <laughs> so hopefully we uh, we get there all right. There comes a 300 yard marker. Do, do, do. Take cruise control off. We shall start indicating. I'm 
what I'm going to do is just before I get to the car bit, I'm going to put my beacons on if there's anyone behind me, just to let them know that I am going into the car bit. In fact, I'm going to put my beacons on. Yep, put the beacons on now. See, lorries are supposed to go straight on, but I've got to go down to the car section. car behind me is probably thinking, where the fuck is he going? The answer... <coughs> Can't see me indicate. What a dick. I'm indicating left, and someone just undercut me. Never mind. That happens all the time. So we've got to go down this shady lane. And got to go down here. Nearly hit that car, only because I saw it in the left. Which, by the way, once again, I am concentrating on what I'm doing. I was, I would have fucking hit that car. Had I had gone, I would have hit him. Yeah, there's a pothole in the water, so I'm not going in it. So we're just going to go down here. Give way to the car. And where we're going is in there. But we're not going in there yet. I'm going to turn around and park here on the right-hand side, facing the way I need to be. There's no lines or anything. Gonna go back a little bit because the road gets a bit wider further back I go. There we go. Right, we're just gonna stop here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is I'm gonna do yet. I can either have a 15 minute break, get loaded, then have half an hour, or just have a whole 45 now. I'm not sure. That fucking car pissed me off. I come in, I'm going slow, I've got my beacons on, I'm indicating left, I'm swerving out to the right to swerve in, and just as I'm about to go, I can see you in my left in the mirror going. But what made it worse is that after I tooted him, the next car tried coming along as well. What a fucking twat. Both of them. Never mind. <laughs> fucking car drivers sometimes don't think... I'm indicating beacons on. Never mind. Uh, so now I've got to have a 15 minute break here. Oh yeah, I need to do a printout. Just do a printout quickly. So that's printing. And then I've got to go to Isy Manor. Isy Manor closed at four o'clock, so I've got to be there before four o'clock, get loaded, and have a break. Let's see when this says I'll be there. Sat now for saying I'm going to be there if I left now at three o'clock. I'm cutting it fine. Because I've got to have a 45 minute break, so I've caught the four, and I've got to get loaded. I'm going to get there literally dead on four o'clock probably. It'll be interesting to see. Right, so this is my uh, printout out for my driving so far. At your destination at 1457. 14.57. It's nearly three o'clock. Um, I did. Oh, that's a fucking annoying, that is. I don't know if you can quite see. Uh, hang on, let me put my thumb there. Just above my finger, I don't know if you can see, it says that I had a break, and it had, I had a 12 minute break. What I do is I normally try and put it on break whenever I can. Uh, I get the 15 out of the way in the morning. Um, at 25 past 10 this morning, I had a 12 minute break. I was obviously waiting to be loaded. 
and then they called me under, so I only had three minutes left to go, which is a bit annoying. I remember that now, because I turned my ignition on and it cancelled the brake. Anyway, I got right on the back. Um, right, we've had our brake, well, it's on 15 minutes, just waiting for it to go to four, uh, 16, and then I drive off. I like to wait until it goes to 16, so I know the brake's definitely in. There we go, 16. Indicate off. And we're going in here. Bumpy road. If only I know someone who could tarmac that. Do -do -do. John Day Engineering. Hopefully there's someone there on the uh, digger already. There is not. So, I don't know what to do now, because last time I come here, he was ready. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of room either. So, uh, I'm gonna have to go and find out what's happening. Right, so I think this is the last tip getting put in now. He doesn't have any scales on his uh, on his machine, and there's no weigh bridge here, so I have to weigh it on my own uh, weigher. At the moment, we're only on 15. Do another half. Oh yeah, put it all in. We're at 16. 16, one, six. That's what's on. I need another two ton. Two more ton. Trying to make out what the weigher says. Seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, easily. I can easily get another two more ton on. Yeah, I got I got two more ton needed easily. Yeah, another two ton. Yeah. Cover those buggers out down a lot in to be fair. Yeah. Put on the back or the front? Uh put it on the back. Yeah. Fucking hard to find it. Right. Oh, I'd have to get louder. Reg. Oh, mate. You alright? Yeah, this um rat. Is it London Projects, where we get it from? No, it's uh, John Day Engineering. Oh, right, well, I'm in the wrong place then. Do you know where you are? Yeah, I've come down this back road from memory. Yeah. And there's a place on the right called London, and they have put rap in their yard, but this ain't it. No, it's not there. It's, uh, you, when you come out of that road, you turn right, and then it's the next left. Okay. If, right. that, if that makes sense. So, oh shit, I come all the way down the bottom of this road, yeah? Yeah. Then turn left. Uh, well, I, if you want, wait on the main road, I'll be coming out in a sec. Alright, okay. It's up to you, but it's called John Day Engineering. Alright. Alright. I'm just going to ask the warning, pothole. Oh, that's... Great flood. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Stay on the right-hand side of that. Yeah. And then turn right at the end of the road. Okay. And then, and, then, and then when you turn right at the end of the road, it's the next left. Okay. Fuck it out. I didn't know all this was here. One more ton. One ton, yeah. 
So I'm talking to the guy right, loading. So first left, is it? Yeah, you turn right and then you turn left, and then you'll see it, it says John Day Engineering. It's a white. Where's full fuels? Uh, I can't remember, to be honest with you. The, the... John Day Engineering, got it. John Day Engineering, all right, yeah, go in there, and then uh, when you go in there, you want to turn right by the car park, you'll see me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Right, I hung up on him. <laughs> trying to multitask here, trying to talk to him, trying to watch what this guy's doing. I don't know what Reg is doing, he's turning around in the car park by the looks of it. Might do. 19.6 by scale says, so that should be enough. Nineteen six. Yeah, for me, yeah. Those weren't very level buckets, that's the problem. Well, these big rocks might weigh more than the little stuff well, that's, as well. That's the fucking problem, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The, the Arctics with the aggregate trailers, I got them fucking close, I think. They were within a ton or so. It's those fucking strap trailers that are coming in. Yeah. Because they don't want to start with one of the lads, didn't know how heavy it fucking was. <laughs> So he said he wanted 29, and the other lad said to me, so I think it's more like 26. You've got to know your tyre weight. Well, if you don't fucking know that bit, you're fucked, aren't you? Yeah, well, I just directed the next one in. Yeah, you go on out that way. Yeah, and then uh, have a good weekend. What's it's that? The code on the gate. Oh, I've got to put it in, all right? No yeah, worries. don't get, you've got to, well, if, if it's down, yeah. You want to stop about eight, ten foot back from the barrier. All right. The code's just round the back. Yeah. No worries. Cheers, mate. Is there many coming in, do you know? I don't know. No. I didn't know he was coming until he messaged me. Right. He just on the phone, he was down there. It's oh. <laughs> like, so, yeah, turn around. <laughs> right. Right, see you in a bit, mate. Cheers, buddy. See you later. Right, so now that's done. Uh, we've got to come out of here, and then I've got to go back into the services because I still need a half an hour break. Believe it or not. He's nothing against the guy or anything here, but it just takes way too long to load. I was giving myself 15 minutes uh, time to load, but it, it just, it was, it took longer than that. Now this is tight. Right, so I'm just going to go put the code in. Be right back. Before I worry about putting the monocon, let's get the fuck out of here. Right, now I'm clear of that. Put my monocon. Put my zebra on. Let's rock and roll. So when we get out of here, we're going to go through the services again. Our beacons are still on, I'll leave them on. 
when you see a lorry with beacons on it's because they are normally a hazard or are going to do a move like if you've got your hazard lights on it's normally because you're about to do some sort of move reverse a maneuver or something and that car driver just he wasn't looking at all at what i was doing at all right so we're going to go down here We're going to stay on the left-hand side of the road, as I should do anyway. One of the guys who uh, work for the same company as I do went through the puddle and he uh, he popped his tyre. That was the last time i come here. He popped his tyre. So definitely uh, recommended that you give it a miss. Well, that's bumpy there. Ooh. We are pushing it big time to be at Izzy for four o'clock. I've got two options. Um, so I was just trying to think I've got two options at the moment I can either have half an hour break now and get to IZ for about 4 o'clock which is a little bit too late or I could not have a break and get there for half past 3 I think I'm not going to have a break. Yeah, I'm not going to have a break. I should be all right. But yeah. Hopefully, I'm going to get away with this. I'm not having a break. So I've had a 15 minute break just now, which covers me for my work in time. But I don't need to have a whole 45 minute break until I've done four and a half hours of driving and I'm currently on three hours and 50 minutes so I have 40 minutes worth of driving remaining before I have to take a break but well, Isaac Manor is only 25 minutes away so I'm going to go straight to Isaac Manor and then I'll either have a break while I'm there or go straight back to the yard and then have a break and then go home. I don't know. Either way, I'm running very low on hours. Time has not been on my side today. This has not been on my side at all. No mind. It's what it is. So now we're, we're loaded with a 20 ton of wrap, give or take. My, my scale said 19.7. Uh, and I know my, t my uh, weight is 12.2, so 12.2 and 19.7 should be 31.8. No, 31.9. So just under 32 ton. Is that van going to let me in? No, he isn't. What a dick. Happens all the time, you're indicating, but no one just wants to let you out. I'm not entirely sure if the van behind me now is happy that I pulled out. Passenger was looking at me. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, so now we're on our way to Isaac Manor, we're tipped there, and God knows what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to have a break there or not, but we'll find out. Right, sit rep. So we've just tipped the wrap off at Izzy Manor. I'm actually in Izzy Manor right now. Just had to get out and clean the back, get in the back, jump up, give it a quick sweep. 
try to do it as quickly as I possibly can because time is against me, as we already know. Um, there's no forward-facing dash cam at the moment because we are in Isy Manor Quarry and I'm not allowed to show the quarry. So, I mean, you might be able to see a little bit out my window, but it's hardly fucking showing you everything, is it? So the situation we've got now is that I have only had a 15 minute break today, so I still need to have half an hour break. I have eight minutes worth of drive time left and my yard, I'm done for the day, my yard is 15 minutes away. <laughs> so we're talking for about seven minutes here or there and I got because it's seven minutes further, I've got to have a half an hour break. Now the downside is I've only got eight minutes seven minutes now to find someone to have a draw uh, have a <laughs> fucking can't get my words out i only got seven minutes to get somewhere to have my break i'm not allowed to have a break on site um and the only, literally the only place i can think of is literally just outside the site by the gates that's the only place i can think of which they might not like right so i just had to cut <laughs> Just had to stop the GoPro real quickly because my boss was calling me and I had to answer the phone. Um, he wants me to go do a job for him. Which is annoying because he assumed I'd be able to go straight there and I said, I'm sorry, but I haven't had a break yet. I've got to stop for a break. So I said, all I can do is have a break. I'll give you a call when I've done finished the break. So I thought my day was going to be finished, but uh, it looks like I've got to go do another run somewhere. So, nothing I can do about it. I'll have this break. Um, 28 minutes remaining. I'll call him up again and find out what's happening. Never mind. Right, so I just got off the phone to my boss. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm done now for the day. He was going to get me to go to a place called Shawncoat Quarry. Get a load of something and then bring it back to South Cerny, which is literally a couple of miles down the road. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't have to do that now. Someone else is doing it which is good um i said really sorry about the driving times so nothing i can do about it i had two options i can either have a break at Izy and then possibly be late to no have a break at membry and possibly be late to Izy, meaning i couldn't tip uh or or go ahead and get the get the load off and tipped and paperwork signed for you know get the money basically and then have a break so that's what i've done now a couple more minutes and i'll be good to go so yes that was interesting He's fine with it, which is great. I'm not in trouble, which is good. Job's done. I've done four loads today. Delivered 80 ton. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend, to be honest. I want a couple of days off. It's getting, it's getting quite dark as well, considering it's nearly summer. So yeah, uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for watching this video. <clears throat> um, I haven't actually recorded a vlog for a week, so it was, it was just nice to have a week off from recording. Um, I had a bit of, um, I wasn't going to say anything, but fuck it, I'll say it anyway. I had some health concerns. Um, last week I had pain in my chest while breathing. Um, and I also had a lot of, not a lot, but I had a bit of pain in my left arm, particularly my elbow and then my wrist. Uh, and if you Google pain in chest and pain in arm, left arm, the first thing that comes up is heart attack. So I was a little bit worried about that. So I had to go to the hospital and I fucking I had injections, I had a scan, um, an X-ray, and all sorts, but they couldn't see any problems, so that's all good. But it was worryingly, uh, well, it was worrying nonetheless. So that's all good, all clear, all dandy. Just looking forward to the weekend now, because <clears throat> I, w it's, di it's it's weird, right? Because like I do my five days, Monday to Friday, and then last weekend, Saturday, I worked. And on the Sunday, I come in to wash the lorry. And that's my time to say my break's finished. And then I work Monday to Friday again. So in a way, although I've only worked 11 of... Hang on, let's get this right. 5, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, although I've only worked 11 of the last 12 days, not in a row, it feels like I've come in every day for two weeks. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah. I'm coming... Confusing myself here. Right, 31 minutes and we're good to go now. Seatbelt on, indicate right. And let's go. Turn the beacons off as well. 
<clears throat> so yeah, I had, had a few concerns with health. It's made me realise I, I need to lose weight, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I had a, a troll the other day say, and you could probably see it on my channel as well, I had a troll say that I'm, I'm a fat, I'm obese, and that I breathe heavy, just driving. And I said to him, like, yeah, you're right, I probably could do, do with losing a bit of weight. So, um, thank you to whoever you were, can't remember your name, you're not that important. <laughs> but yeah, I do need to lose some weight, and I am trying to lose some weight. I used to get uh, go through, like, a fucking loads of coke. Like, and I'm talking one half litre, two litre bottles of coke every day. Well, I haven't drunk any coke now for two weeks, which is good. I've been on just water. Which is annoying because it means I've got to fill it up in the morning every time before I leave for work. So, as long as I remember to do it, it's fine. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I had, a, I had a bit of health concern, but it's all dandy. It's all good. I had to take a day off to go to the hospital. But it's all right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you can like and subscribe and comment and do all of that sort of stuff, that's, that'd be fantastic. If you haven't already gone over and liked my Facebook page, go ahead and do that. It's in the uh, comment below. You can see it down here. Luke C and HTV. And um, I upload like pictures and, and videos and just behind the scenes stuff. And also I let you know when a vlog is coming as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, drive safe. Bye bye. No, seriously, bye-bye. Fuck off.